Well, hello! My name is Honey LeBronx, and I'm mad as hell. Today, December 1st, is World AIDS Day. Maybe you know someone who's HIV positive. Maybe you know someone who's at risk for getting HIV. Or maybe you're like me, and you did the AIDS ride about 14 years ago, and so you feel like you did your part, and you don't ever have to think about AIDS ever again. Or care. Frankly, I myself am sick of hearing about HIV. Sick of it. I'm tired of it. I have grown weary. I've just tuned it out. Four days ago, a good friend of mine texted me and told me he's HIV positive. Last time I talked to him, he wasn't HIV positive. Now he is. Three weeks before that, another friend of mine also told me that he found out he's HIV positive. And it's just a matter of time before a third friend tells me that he's also HIV positive. You know, for a while in New York City, there was all this talk about we're looking for a vaccine, we're looking for a vaccine. Guess what? We failed. To date, there is no vaccine. So the only way to protect yourself is to have safe sex, right? Right? Wrong. Are you safe every single time? Every single time. Have you never, not even once in your life, had unsafe sex? Wouldn't it be cool if there was, like, a pill? Like birth control for gays. You just take it once a day and, boop, you don't get HIV. Have you heard about PrEP? There is a pill like this. Girl, have you heard about PrEP? We have such a pill. Have you heard of PrEP? PrEP is a once-daily pill that you can take to lower your chances of getting HIV by 99%. That's right. We have a pill that you can take and it can cut your chances of getting HIV by up to 99%. Why is no one talking about this? No, is anyone talking? Anyone talking about this? Is anyone talking about this? Has anyone, has anyone been talking about this? No one's talking about it. No one's talking about it. No one's writing about it. No one's Facebooking about it. Every time I tell one of my friends about it, they have no idea. They've never heard of this before. My friend that just found out he's HIV positive, he'd never heard about it. He'd never heard about it. And of course, when I told him about it, he said, if someone had told me that this was an option, I would be taking it. I would have taken it already. It's too late for him. Now he has HIV, and he will for the rest of his life. So you don't want HIV? You don't have to get HIV. You don't have to get HIV. Get PrEP. Sure, it's much, much safer if you just wear a condom every time. But not everyone's doing that. Not everyone is having safe sex. Are you having safe sex every time? Every time? Your doctor might not know about PrEP. Your doctor might not have all the information. So why aren't people talking about it? Well, if we had a pill that would let you have unsafe sex and not get HIV, well then everyone would just be having unsafe sex. Everyone is having unsafe sex. I don't know if you've heard, but this is happening. This is a thing. But wouldn't that mean I'd basically be going on HIV medication? Maybe you've seen Rent a few too many times? They're not prescribing AZT anymore. PrEP, which stands for Pre-Exposure Prophylaxis, is called Truvada. It's a once-a-day HIV medication. If you take it as a preventative measure, let's say that you did have unsafe sex and you were exposed to HIV, taking Truvada, PrEP, daily, can reduce the chances of your getting infected by 99%. That's as effective as wearing a condom in the first place. Truvada is extremely well tolerated. It's not likely to cause side effects, and you're pretty much just going to go on about your day not even noticing that you're taking anything. But then that would mean I'd have to take a pill, like, every day for the rest of my life. Guess what? If you get HIV, you're going to have to take a pill every day for the rest of your life. So why not just take a pill anyway, and not get HIV? Two years ago, December 1st, 2011, World AIDS Day, President Obama declared his new commitment to fight HIV. So we have a tool that can reduce HIV infections by 99%. Why isn't the president talking about it? Why has there not been a huge address from the White House saying, Hey, now, if you don't want to get HIV, you don't have to. There was a Huffington Post article recently talking about, We have the tools to fight HIV. It didn't mention PrEP. Every single friend that I talk to about PrEP, they've never heard of it. They've never heard of it. Well, now you've heard of it. Are you a gay man? Do you have friends in the gay community? Do you ever have unprotected sex? Well, now you know about PrEP. And now your friends can know about PrEP. So where do you get it? 
how can you get on it? Unfortunately, there's really no centralized location on the internet for information about prep. Until now. Visit tinyurl forward slash prep facts. And that will take you to a group on Facebook called Prep Facts, Rethinking HIV Prevention and Sex. There, you can find all the information you need as far as how much does it cost? How can I get my insurance to cover it? What if I don't have insurance? Basically, most insurance plans cover it. Medicaid covers it. If you don't have insurance, there are programs that will help pay for your medication if you want to get on PrEP. There is basically no excuse not to get on it. If you're not having unprotected sex, fine. Wear a condom every time. That's your best bet. But if you're worried, if sometimes you don't wear a condom, if maybe you're a drug user and you don't remember what you're doing, if you have any reason to believe that you're not having a perfect record of a condom every time that you're having sex, then maybe PrEP is for you. Did I mention yet that PrEP can reduce your risk of getting HIV by 99%? You know that's without a condom, right? I know someone who's been on PrEP for two years, never wears a condom, and he's a bottom, and he's still HIV negative. I'm not condoning that kind of risky behavior, but someone who has that kind of risky behavior, he has stayed negative two years later by being on PrEP. This isn't just about you and your health. To help stop you from getting HIV, this is about helping to stop the spread of HIV. If every sexually active gay male in New York City were taking PrEP, we could virtually eliminate the spread of HIV. Let me break it down for you. The first thing, know your status. Are you HIV negative? Great. Stay that way. Are you HIV positive? Great. Get on medication and stay healthy. The second thing, be safe. There is still nothing that can protect you more than wearing a condom every single time. This is not news. And the third thing, just in case you're not safe every single time, get on PrEP. So maybe before this video you've never heard about it. Now you've heard about it. Now you have a responsibility to share this information with your friends. Don't you think your friends have a right to this information? The president isn't talking about it. It's not trending on Twitter. No one's talking about it on Grindr. Or Adam for Adam. Or Scruff. So be that friend who knows about it. Be that friend who tells your friends, Hey, did you know about PrEP? Why don't you get all the information so you have all the facts to stay safe? Don't your friends deserve to have this information? Ask yourself how you're going to feel the next time one of your friends tells you he's HIV positive and he never knew about PrEP. Well, now you know about PrEP. Do you really not want your friends to know about it? Don't they at least deserve to have all the facts so they can stay safe? And happy World AIDS Day! Let's end HIV now. And another thing. Let's talk about what's not gonna keep you safe. There are so many people on Adam for Adam and Grinder and Scruff saying HIV negative, UB2. Sorry, HIV neg only, disease free, UB2. Believe it or not, these people are actually putting themselves at a much higher risk of getting HIV. How? The people spreading HIV are not the people who know that they're positive. Generally, people who know that they're HIV positive are on medication and have an undetectable viral load. It is virtually impossible for someone with HIV who is undetectable to transmit the virus. Virtually impossible. So who's transmitting HIV if not the positive guys? It's the guys who think they're negative. It's the guys who don't know their status, the guys who are afraid to get tested, or the guys who know about their status but still say that they're negative. People who are recently infected or don't know they're infected and are therefore not taking medication will have a very high viral load and therefore are much more likely to transmit the virus. That's who's spreading it. Yeah. Negative guys. So the next time you're hooking up online and a guy tells you, hey, I'm positive and undetectable, are you comfortable with that? He's probably a safer bet than the guy who thinks he's negative. So know your status, stay safe, wear a condom every time, and if you honestly don't wear a condom every time, then get on prep. Now please go share this video with your friends. They deserve to know. Thank you.